In this video, we will explore how to run our application on an Android emulator. Step 1. Visit developer.android.com slash studio and download Android Studio. It is available for Windows, macOS and Linux. Step 2. Install Android Studio. I already have it installed, but let me give you some pointers. Launch the setup wizard and click Next on the welcome screen. Choose the standard setup type and click Next. Proceed through the setup by selecting the desired color theme and accepting the terms. Finally, click Finish on the final review screen. The installation process may take a few minutes. Step 3. Once Android Studio is installed, you should see a different welcome screen. Click on More Actions and select Virtual Device Manager. By default, there will be a Pixel 3 device available, but let me show you how to create a new device if you wish to test on different devices. Click on the Create Device button to create a new virtual device. Here, choose a device that you wish to test on. I'm going to leave the category as Phone, and for Model, make sure to select a device where the Play Store icon is displayed. And that would be Pixel 4. Expo Go requires the Play Store to be installed. Next, select the Android API level. I'm going to leave the sandbox entries and select the latest, which is API 34. I already have it installed, but you are going to have to install it for the first time. The process will also take a few minutes. Provide a name for your virtual device. For example, Code Evolution Test, and click Finish on the Verify Configuration screen. This will create a Pixel 4 virtual device in Android Studio. Step 4. Run the device by clicking on the Play button. Step 5. With the Android emulator running in the background, return to VS Code. Here, we can see that we have to press A to run our application on the opened device. This will install Expo Go on the virtual device and launch your application. Within a few seconds, you will see the Expo app running on the virtual device. Try changing this text in app.js to hello from Android, and you will notice the text reflecting right away. So these are the different methods for running an Expo app on your physical device, on an iOS simulator, or an Android emulator. Throughout the series, we will primarily focus on running our app on the iOS simulator and Android emulator. However, if you prefer, you can also run it on your own physical device. With that, we conclude this short section on getting started with React Native. We have learned what is React Native, what is Expo, how to create an Expo project using Create Expo app, and how to run the created project on a real device, on an iOS simulator, and finally, an Android emulator. In the next section, let's take a look at the core components React Native offers to build native mobile applications. If you're enjoying the content, please leave a like and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.